we lost seven seniors from last year, so that's a lot to fill. And it's really cool because the group this year is coming together and figuring it out. Players are playing wherever they need to play and they are embracing it. And it's not always the easiest or most fun, but um, you know, we're working hard and, and, and playing hard. And we got a couple wins this weekend, which was really cool. A lot of first varsity wins, so. Yeah, we lost a lot of uh, seniors. I think us three are the only returning varsity members this year. So we have a lot of young kids, a lot of new fresh faces. Yeah, it's, it's been, uh, it started off a little weak, but we've grown and we've progressed as a team and I think we're going to play really good this year. Uh, my whole family kind of played tennis and my brother was in it at the high school, so I decided to join. It's like a team sport, but you get to play a ton. You get that one-on-one -on -one time. This just team in particular is just an amazing group of student athletes that really have each other's back. They show kindness, they show toughness, and they show everything that we want them to be working on within themselves going forward after tennis. And hopefully they played the rest of their life, but um, this is a special team from that dynamic. I don't know how many wins, and lot, but from just how they treat each other and treat their opponents and how hard they work, this is a really special group this year. It's a big mental battle to play, and when you have teammates there, you can rely on them when you're playing and when you're in your match, but also you got to play on your own. It just kind of develops. Yeah. I think we're all just trying to do the best we can. Yeah, work with what we have, play our best matches. So I'm an English teacher, and Maya Angelou, you know, amazing American poet, um, I want to say she had a quote, something like, you'll, always, you'll forget you know, sometimes what you did with people or what people said, but you rarely will forget how they made you feel. And that, and that goes for how you treat your opponents and your team and coaches and opposing coach. you know. But those are the things that kind of transcend the sport that make it accessible to their future. So that's what I love about coaching tennis and just coaching in general.